guys, welcome back to my channel. So, Ben did a 30k the other day, I did a 10k. As you all know, we're doing a lot of running. And this is kind of the point of this YouTube video, in terms of, I just want to be able to be so physically fit, in terms of endurance, in terms of, I just miss having that element in my life. Like when I used to swim and I was so fit and healthy in terms of like an endurance based swimming running. And I've been asked so much on Instagram, it's become a little bit annoying. Like imagine every single day when you're trying to change some personal goals and you've got a lot going on and people are asking you, probably like 50 people every day, why are you running so much? You look smaller. Are you not going to lose muscle? Is your strength going to reduce? So I thought I'd just wrap it up and put it in a YouTube video. I've woke up today and I want to go and run a half marathon. I've never done that in my whole entire life. And I've been talking to Ben a lot about it. And it's more so this idea of being a hybrid athlete where your strength is incredible, but your endurance is incredible and you're still building. And that's just where I'm at. That is literally where I'm at in my fitness journey. And it's exciting for me. I feel, I feel excited when I go for a run or I do like a really long wad or I'm doing something that's really challenging for me personally. Like I said, I've never run over 15K in my life and I feel like a half marathon might be quite a nice thing to do. I have this thing where I, I find it quite hard just to go for like steady runs in terms of I always hit like a five minute kilometer pace. I did it for 15K, 10K or like a 448 pace. I think I did a 445 pace for my 10K the other day, but I need to, I just want to go for a freaking run today. Like see, see what it's like doing a half marathon. Don't have a clue where I'm going to go. Like it's quite difficult running around Manchester because it's just busy and there's no lovely long rivers to run by, but I'm sure I'll find somewhere. I've got 21.9 kilometers to find that. So I'll do 22K, fingers crossed. Um, I'm not sure how much of the running you'll actually see. I'm going to do my best and we'll also have a bit more of a chat after in terms about my personal goals and what I'm doing like nutrition wise because that's a massive thing in terms of maintaining I guess my current physique but then also introducing this amount of running how I'm kind of finding a balance of the two. So without further ado, let's go. Okay. So I'm nine kilometers in, nearly 10. You know what? I actually just feel really good. I've hit, I don't know how, but a five minute pace, if not just under. And I feel really relaxed. I'm just, I'm enjoying the scenery. I mean, it's not like amazing, but it's all right. Listen to a podcast keep myself busy let's go Ooh. 17 kilometers <sighs> last five feeling good um i've got a really good mindset and it's <sighs> i just feel quite proud <laughs> so just gotta keep going i did it first half marathon 509 pace which i feel like i was literally aiming to hit a 530 pace the total time was it one hour? I'll have to pop it on the screen for you. Oh my God, let me just get in the house. My whole body is dripping. So I will pop my pace on the screen. I did it in one hour 53 and I just feel like super happy about that. I feel like that's really quite good for a first half marathon which i'm pretty pleased with and my pacing was actually really good in terms of there wasn't a single kilometer i went over five minutes 30. the 10th kilometer i went 526 and someone had stopped me and asked me where to go and i was like i'm really sorry i'm doing a half marathon i don't know where you like i've never ran where i've just ran so i was like i'm so sorry oh what is this fucking gross stuff around my mouth i think i should probably give you a full body shazam of this as well give you a full body Look at that little... I've literally got the shape of the vest on me. That is hilarious. Did it fly? Oh my god, I'm literally seeing things. I feel on top of the world. I feel like I need to tell Ben how that went. I oh can't just... I look like I'm like literally, literally joking. That is actually hilarious. Oh my god, look at my back. 
It was clearly a very hot day when doing so, which is why I'm literally covered in so much sweat. But um, I'm just going to sit you down. I did it! There she is. What did you do? I did 1 hour 53. I did what? a 509 pace. Oh, what? Half marathon. 20k? 22k. Yes. 509 pace. Can That's you believe insane, it? Man. Fucking long, man. Yeah. How long did it take you? An hour 53. I wanted under 2 hours 15. It's fucking mad. Look at this. <laughs> How did you feel at the end? They got really hard. Like, the first 5 kilometres were all under 5 minutes. Yeah. Kilometres 6 to 10 were around, like, 5.20. I had a random burst of 4.55. But a guy at 10 kilometres stopped me what? and asked for directions. I was like, I'm so sorry. He's like literally like grabbed my arm and I was like, oh, I'm really sorry, like I'm doing a times half marathon. I've never run here either and I'm just carried on running. Where were you? I was like, I went way down towards like Trafford Park. Do 22k, yeah. Yeah. And then kilometres 11 to 15 were a 5.59 five, pace and then 15 to 20 were like a 5.9 pace. And the last two kilometres, I did 5.17, that was just hurting. Do you reckon you done about 8k? How do you feel the end? We absolutely fucked. I think like what it is You wouldn't have done about 8k at that pace. I probably could have done about like 3k. At that pace. I think what it is, I had my head you doing 22 kilometers. Yeah. So I was doing yeah, it in like yeah. fives. If I knew I was doing like 30, I would have done 30. A lot of people have kind of asked me why. Why? Why? And to be honest, that, that makes you feel incredible like i said at the start i'm trying to do things which is more in terms of being a hybrid athlete i've always said one day i'd really love to do an iron man that's something i've said for years and it's just finding different ways that to do things that make you tick i don't really have aesthetic goals at the moment i want to maintain my current physique which is obviously with the nutrition side that i kind of wanted to touch on a bit in terms of calories i'm I've gone from 2,000 to eating more like 2,400, 2,500 now. It is a bit different for me to try to increase my calories to that because I don't really sit at that. Like I don't, I'm comfortable on 2,000, 2,100 calories, but I'm expending so much energy. For example, that I burned 1,300 calories. So obviously in that situation, I'm not going to eat 2,000. I've started Increase my calories, um, more so my carb intake. Protein, yeah, it's still around 180 grams, but my carb intake is like significantly increased. Just in terms of energy, and I actually love carbs, like I can't live without carbohydrates. The way that I run, I listen to, like doing longer runs. What do you listen to? I listen to the Courtney uh, podcast with Joe Rogan. This is Courtney Drinkwater, what her name is. She did 238 miles and then I was listening to the David Goggins podcast and I'm just, I think when you can kind of lose yourself in a run and not focus on like how, I don't know, is it hurting, how are you feeling, you actually, you actually feel okay. Yeah, I'm super pumped, super proud of that. I need to go and get a shower because I'm so soaking, like it's actually, look how soaking I am. Well done, that's very good. Thank you. Hot and sweaty. I am so sweaty. Also, on the Bruno note. When you put this up, probably the Fergus podcast might be coming up as well. Oh my god, yeah. I've done a podcast with Fergus and he is incredible. Like some of the stuff he's done, it's it's amazing. He does a lot of ultras and Ironmans and things like that. So I'll definitely um, link the podcast below for you. Oh my god, I'm so thirsty. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit different. Hopefully it gives you a bit of an insight into why I'm doing different sorts of training and what's my personal preference and why I'm doing it for myself. You have different stages in your fitness journey and this is just a really exciting stage for me where I'm becoming this more hybrid athletic person, not just someone who is just going to the gym. And you probably notice with the YouTube challenges that I do that I don't really do conventional training all the time and I like to test the waters and the swimming and things like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.